This is code.org. Let's see what we have here. By the way, guys, if you don't have code here, you need to go back and do the other bubbles. This is carrying over. All right. Take all the paint from the paint bucket as long as uh, a painter object is standing on one. To do, write the method take all paint and use the neighborhood and use it in the neighborhood. So painter plus dot Java, write the method take all paint. And this is our painter plus dot Java class. So click a poo. And I already have a turn right method, which was great. Um, maybe my description could be better, but that's fine. Uh, and now I need to write a take all paint method. Cool. Enter, enter. Now I'm going to say some words that you might not know totally yet. And that's okay. Don't freak out. You're learning as you're going. All right. So first I'm going to use the uh, access modifier, which explains to the computer that where a method could be used. I'm going to say public. It can be used outside of this class itself. If I had said private, only way place we could run this method would be in here, not with dots over here. All right, so public. Now, what is this going to return? Nothing, right? We're not going to provide a value back. I'm not going to say return six or return a uh, string, nothing. So to tell it that, I'm going to do void. So that's the return type. Now, the name of the method, we want to write this exactly, perfectly, annoyingly this, right? And it's called camel case take, because I have to capitalize the A and the P for paint, all paint, and then parentheses. I like doing a space and then the curly bracket, which is up near the letter P. You have to hold shift and I hit enter. So this is a method signature. It's called that because it's where we give the method a name. Again, if you find all of that confusing, you're a normal human, just it's fine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw a comment up here just for clarity's sake. Um, a painter takes paint if on bucket, something like that. You can write whatever you want. You don't necessarily have to write this. I think it makes it nice if other developers, other coders come look at this. Keep in mind, computer doesn't read a comment. Now, what do they want it to do? Uh, object to take all paint from the paint bucket. Use the take all paint, and we've done this several times before. Uh, here's an example. Oh, nope, 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 I don't have an example. Huh, so I lied. Okay, but what we're going to use is a while loop, right? So as long as we're standing on a bucket, we want to be able to take the paint. Now, you might think, and I've done this before, I'm like, oh, well, they start up here. So first, I'm going to do, you know, painter.move or something like that. Nope. Nope, no, 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 no. I totally get the impulse. However, the only goal of this thing is if we are already on a bucket to be grabbing us some paint. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. And I'm going to go over here, look at the name of my current painter plus object, Fred. And I'm going to use it over here because I want to show you how to do this incorrectly for a second. And it makes total sense. Okay, so I'm like, all right, Fred.move, for instance. E this is not what it wants. And that's because Fred, my painter, does not exist over here. My painter exists here. We don't want to do it like this. We can run the method directly. There's no dots, no objects in here because we have access. And again, scary words, but this is a painter plus class. It's a subclass of painter. So it is built underneath or on top of painter. It can do everything painter can do. We don't need to instantiate objects. That being said, I don't need move. What I need is a while loop. So as long as, and then what's my condition? Mm, we have the, what is it called? Is on paint, I think. And you know what's really nice is I can go to documentation because I don't remember every tiny method that exists because normal human over here. And it's great that they give us this. Um, take paint. There we go. Is on paint. So while... Uh, my painter, nope, it's just we can run it directly, remember, is on paint. So as long as I am on paint, I want to do what? Well, when we saw the method over here, it's called take paint. And since this is a while loop, it means as long as we're on paint, when I run this, each time the computer says, okay, is the painter currently on a paint bucket? And if I was standing here, it's true. And if this is true, then the computer goes, nope, well, then I have to run this code inside. And we take paint. Hits the bottom, goes back to the top, and says, ah, I got to check again. Is the painter currently on a paint and bucket? And we are, because we would still have five left. And it goes, oh, okay, this is true. I have to run, take paint. Goes bottom, goes back to the top. Now, let's say we're done. We've now taken all of the paint. It's at zero. Then the bucket would disappear. So when the computer gets here after we've done that six times, it says, hey, are you currently on a bucket? 
oh no, because it, it would disappear if we took it all. This is false, right? Keep in mind it's a method. And if this is false, it cannot run the code inside. And if we had something beneath it, it would run that. Here, it would just return. All right, that all being said, um, and blah, 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 write the method to have the paint or object, take the paint. In your neighborhood Java, uh, which is this thing, neighborhood runner Java, use your take all paint method to navigate and paint a path to the house. Okay, let me see what I have right now. I smack a wall. Oh, look, I'm walking and I turn. Okay, so where do I want to take all the paint? Here. So I already have a wall loop can move uh, Fred. And so I'll keep that there. And then I'm going to do uh, Fred and I'm going to do my new method, which is take all paint and hope it works. Now you might have something different. You might have move here three times or something twice, I guess. That's fine. Oh. And what was really cool about that is uh, nothing, because it didn't work. Ah, uh, is on. Is on. Bucket. Great. And so now, obviously, we want to be painting as well. So, okay, so once we do that, I'm going to ask my painter to paint. So I have all of the paint. Um, I need to turn right, and then I need to start painting. Hmm. All right, so I have move. I could do a loop here, but I'm just going to do this the old school way and just say, Fred, uh, let's see. I'll hammer it down and then out and then explain it. Ta-da! So all I'm doing now is I turn right, and then I just start painting and moving. Now this is a bit repetitive and what's really cool about code is there's like five more ways to be right. So let me move stuff around and show you another way to be right. Just because this is what I have, this does not mean it is the only way to do this. It's not. For instance, I could put turn left right here. That will have no impact. It just means I will turn left prior to painting. I could use a loop and actually that would be much cleaner. Let me show you what I mean. But ah, that is also a way to be right. Oh, wait a minute. Except I would need one more paint here, right? Or I could switch these around. There's a bunch of different ways to do this. Also, pick your own color. Mines are cool, but you know, make it interesting. I got to grade these. But ah, uh, cool. Onward.